Hello guys, this is Boris and today I'm going to tell you how to redistribute your um, platform-based uh, application without the DLLs registration. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell a couple of words why this is important, why this way is important and why it's important to redistribute your application without the registration. Uh, first of all, it eases the redistribution process for you, so you don't need to take care about uh, user account control and all that stuff that does not allow to register the DLLs in some situations. So you just copy your application and it just works. And the second, uh, even more important point is that your application will be independent from the DLLs registered on this machine. Uh, let's imagine the very simple situation that you redistribute your application and register the DLLs. Um, and after some time, the customer installs some other application that is also in platform based, but uses the older version of a platform. So this application is being installed and it, it's, and it uh, registers its own DLLs. Uh, and at this point, your application will have some problems because the code is written uh, according to the newer version of a platform. So in some points it can get some crashes, some problems, um, and uh, make the customer unhappy with your application. So to avoid this, you need to redistribute your application in this way without registration. Okay, and now this blah, 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 let's go to the practice. Okay, here is my... Uh, platform installation folder it's just a clean and platform installation nothing is changed over here so we can uh, run the sample applications try them uh, modify it, do whatever we want to during the installation the dlls are registered so right now i've got all the dlls registered on this system um, let's mm, take some sample application for example internal external playlist sample and uh, update it to be uh, redistributed without dls registration okay okay there are very three very simple steps to adopt the application to be redistributed without the registration okay the first thing that i will do is run the visual studio open the project properties and set this option to create application without a manifest. So in this case, the manifest will not be embedded into the executable binary and we will be able to use a custom, custom manifest for this application. So let's add this property, uh, rebuild the solution Okay, that's it. Now let's go to the binary folder and uh, check that manifest is created separately. This one is incorrect because it's for the Visual Studio. So that's the first point, it's done. Uh, the second point is that we need to copy the platform DLLs uh, to the folder where uh, which one we plan to redistribute in my case is this folder <clears throat> i consider that i will redistribute this folder exactly so i will just go to a platform and copy the uh, binary folder to the debug over here so let's just copy and paste it uh, right now I'm using the, the x86 application, so I don't need the x64, so I can just delete it to uh, uh, lower the space of my application. Okay, that's it. Over here we have all and platform DLLs. Um, okay. Uh, that's the second point and it's done. Now the third point, the most important one. Uh, we have to uh, create a manual application manifest. Uh, 
the it's very simple right now we have a sample manifest redistributed within platform and it is located right over here in bin manifests x86 folder so let's just copy this application there here is uh, the application manifest and the server manifest let's start from the application just copy it uh, go back to my redistribution folder and copy it over here here it goes and now the only thing i need to do is uh, modify the name of the application in my manifest um, so i will do it right here in file name and uh, then i will do it over here inside the xml here is the content of that manifest and over here you can see the name of the executable i have to change it to the correct one to okay now i'll save it um, okay that's it for the application manifest and now i have to um, copy the M server manifest too. It's very important because M server is used internally in, uh, inside the M platform DLLs. So I will just copy it, uh, go back to my redistribution folder, uh, go to M platform binaries and paste it over here, right next to the M server executable. Okay, that's it. Uh, now my application is ready to be redistributed without um, registering of DLLs. Uh, one important thing that you need to uh, consider, that you need to note, is that uh, if I'll open that manifest XML right here, it contains all uh, and platform DLLs paths that are stored over here. For me, it's been x86 because I have copied the implied from DLLs right over here inside the bin x86. If this pass will be um, will be some other for your case, you need to um, update this file and fix these paths to the correct ones. Um, Okay, so basically that's it. Now my application is ready to be redistributed. Um, let's simulate this situation. I'll go to M platform binary and we'll just unregister all these DLLs. So in this case, um, I will simulate the situation when the machine has no uh, M platform DLLs regis uh, registered. So I will run my register bet so as you see it unregisters all the DLLs and go bye bye platform DLLs come on come on come on come on okay that's it so now if uh, we will run some other application for example a playlist it will not be started as the com objects are not registered but if we will go to my updated application redistributable folder and try to run this application, here it goes. It will be started correctly. We can add files, start the playback, and it will be working just as if the DLLs will be register registered. Uh, okay, guys, that's it. That's the correct way of... Uh, application redistribution, uh, please follow it to avoid the possible problems and have a good time. Okay, goodbye.